the sixth graders of Berlin Milan Middle School wish to thank Key Bank of Milan for their generous local support of our edition of New Six and the other friends of this broadcast who provided additional funding. Welcome to this week's edition of News 6. Today's program is brought to you by the 6th grade class of Berlin Milan Middle School. Our school is located between the communities of Berlin Heights and Milan in Erie County. Founded in the early 1800s, the towns have a combined population of some 2,000 people. Most towns like ours have places where people can go to meet their friends. Throw in a little pizza and a few video games and you have the makings for a lot of fun. Reporter Alison Muthig shows us just a place in Milan. Hi, I'm Allison Music, and I'm inside a box, Jim's Pizza Box. Jim's Pizza Box is a great place to meet people in downtown Milan. Well, the Pizza Box has been about business for about 20 years, and what I like about what I'm doing is, um, is making people happy, and I have fun with that. Uh, it's meeting new people every day. Uh, it's making people happy through food, which we all are happiest when we're eating. Um, I guess it's, um, it's a combination of things. The recipes come from my mother. She takes a lot of pride in all her recipes. Without my mother, without her recipes, none of this would take place. I count on her for everything. Jim has tried to offer a lot more than good food to our community. Well, my involvement with the community comes from caring about kids with problems at home. I guess sometimes as adults we, uh, we're so involved in our own little world that we we don't give the youth the time that it needs, the attention that it needs, and I enjoy that part of it. Uh, I work with a lot of disability kids, uh, and that's because I want to give something back, and I promised that if I became heavily successful, I would give it back to the community, and this is how we do it. Jim says that being a good citizen is also good business. Being involved in the community, whether it's good business or not, I'm sure it has a lot of uh, impact on how people perceive what the pizza box is about. Putting your name out in positive ways is definitely a plus for any business. This is Allison Music reporting for News 6. Northwest Ohio has always been a good place to grow crops like beans and corn, but move a little east and you'll find sweet fruit growing on our land. Reporter Laura Underwood takes us to one of the many orchards in the area. Hi, I'm Laura Underwood and good things grow on trees here in Berlin Heights. This part of Ohio is a good one for growing different kinds of fruit. Berlin Heights is a great area for growing fruit trees in, in the whole state of Ohio for a couple of reasons. One, we're real close to Lake Erie. We can see the lake from our farm and our orchards and it's about two miles away. And the second reason, we're on a ridge and that keeps the, uh, the cold air away, allows the cold air to drain away. On our farm, we have about 160 acres of fruit. Of that amount, about 125 is apples, 25 are peaches, and the rest are pears and nectarines and plums. Bill says that taking care of his fruit trees is a year-round job. And this time of the year in March, we're pruning the trees, and since we have about 42,000 apple trees, it takes about three or four months to prune those. Of course, in addition to pruning, we need to, uh, we need to spray the trees to keep bugs and diseases away. And in the summer, a main activity is thinning. We have to take off lots of the little apples if we have a big crop, so the remaining apples on the tree grow and size to the point where a consumer will, will like them. 
In all, Quarry Hill Orchards grows 37 different kinds of apples. We grow uh, lots of different varieties of apples simply because that's what the consuming public demands. What we grow is based on what people want to buy and what people like to eat. This is Laura Underwood reporting for News 6. Today's Kids View question is, what is your favorite place in Ohio and why? Cincinnati Zoo because there's a lot of cool animals. Soak City because it has a lot of fun water rides. Jack Lake because it has really cool rides and water slides. Jacobs Field because I like watching Indians games. Gunnery because of the cows. This is our main entrance at BMMS. This is the front lobby of BMMS. I like this This is our school library where kids come to study, use the computers, or do homework. It might surprise you to know that one of the most famous men in history was born in Milan. In fact, many of the things that make this show possible had their beginnings with this inventor. Reporter Molly Moyer tells us more. Hi, I'm Molly Moyer and I'm at the birthplace of Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison is one of the most famous inventors of all time, and he was born right here in Milan. Thomas Edison was born February the 11th, 1847, and he lived here in Milan until he was seven and a half. He was a very curious little boy. He always wanted to know how everything worked. Some of his most famous inventions were the phonograph, which was his favorite, even though he was deaf, and the movie camera, and of course, the electric light. He had 1,093 American patents. Today, the Edison Birthplace Association has done its best to restore the Edison home. Thomas Edison's home is a three-story, seven-room home. His father built it in 1841, and it's almost the same as when he lived here, except they did add two dormer windows at, uh, towards the turn of the century. Well, some of the original items in the home would be the furniture, the bedroom furniture in the pine room upstairs. This furniture belonged to his sister, Marion. And then there's the spinning wheel downstairs and, a, and the uh, cradle downstairs. Edison's boyhood home is an important part of Milan's heritage. The birthplace has been open to the public since 1947. The visitors come from all over the world. Most every country in the world and all 50 states come. And we have, uh, well, we have several thousand visitors a year now. I think the home is very important to his heritage because he is the world's greatest inventor. I think it's very important to uh, honor him by having the home uh, open to the public. This is Molly Moyer reporting for News 6. That's all for this season of News 6. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in next year for more news from around Northwest Ohio. Goodbye and have a good summer. The sixth graders of Berlin Milan Middle School wish to thank Key Bank of Milan for their generous local support of our edition of New Six and the other friends of this broadcast who provided additional funding 